three characters were reworked. Little Tail and Classic, as you can see, and then Sanity over here. The first one I'm going to go over is Little Tail. Let's make this quick. First move is a Bone Wave. Second move is a set of two blasters that then launch enemies. The third move is a little bone thing that you can throw. The fourth move is a Bone Zone. The fifth is a standard Blue Soul. And the sixth one is a Gravity move that makes them unable to jump. The final move is a 25 second cooldown candy that gives you 20 stamina. Now let's go on to the characters you probably wanted to see. Underswap Sands also got new models, however they didn't get any new moves according to the patch notes. Alright, so here is the Sands rework. Now the final upgrade, the one with the swirling colors and all that, didn't actually get new moves. Insanity got reworks in both forms, but for this Sands it's only the lower form that got a rework. So as you can see, standard moves, Bone Rush, Bone Zone, Blaster, we have a Bone Jump Warning. It's really important to have warnings on those, otherwise you can do some sneaky, unavoidable attacks. A force that goes in the direction you're facing. And I can use side bones here. Now, I don't see anything happening, but since I pressed it, there we go. It just took a while. And I can choose to deactivate it. I, it looks like it's costing me stamina by how my stamina is going down by one and getting instantly rejuvenated. I'm sure if they hit me, it wouldn't be so easy. But anyway, let's move on to the next phase. Here we go with phase two. In phase two, so for the first move here in the second phase, we have double blaster. And then it fires more blasters. It's especially lethal to people who probably weren't ready to get blasted. Bone zone, or not bone wave rather, bone sliders. It'll probably function like the last one, just kind of faster in general, yeah. And considering I think they have a jump cooldown in this, it can be pretty obnoxious. Fourth move is Bone Jumps, which again, on both walls, and this one, yeah, it's pretty easy to avoid unless you jump into it. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> please don't die. We'll, okay. I have a Force, I have a Blink, which apparently puts them in an Undertale mini game. There, there's no question they died, right? Oh my gosh. Or was that, this is my final attack. I think I got them my final attack by accident. Well, I, the corridor bones looks like it's just more of those side bones. Okay. Oh no, the blink is just that. Okay, so that wasn't my final attack. So then, yeah, the corridor attack is just bones kind of bounce around the corridor. I'm going to turn it off so I don't accidentally kill this person. Could you please kill me and bring me into the final part? So the final attack, it's another one of these mini games. As you can see, the enemies are having to dodge attacks of this pattern. I'm assuming either with ASD or mouse. We couldn't see the end of that, but I'm going to assume that it would make you dodge like a blaster spin. Is that correct, Pot? Would that have been like a blaster spin ending? Okay, yeah. How did you control it? Was it mouse or WSD? Okay. Anyway, let's move on to Insanity. Alright, so here is three upgrade Insanity, not max Insanity. And this one has seven moves. First move is Lethal Rush. Those bones look a bit dangerous. There's a lot of them. We have the second move, Insanity Punch. If I can catch up to Termination here, we can punch them. Apparently, the punch has a side effect of being a attack that misses if you're too close. Let's try that again. There we go. We punch them for six damage. I don't recommend using this move. It's really weak. <laughs> uh, let's see. We have a bone zone there. Uh, it makes their vision blurry. That's right. This game doesn't show stats. What that? Oh, it's an indicator for where I can blink to. And it leaves a spike where it was. That's wild. Okay. For my fifth move, I have Insanity Slam, which if someone attacks me while I'm glowing, I slam. My sixth move is Death Wave. It's, it's, it's just a bone wave. And then Unstable Save. Since Insanity Sands has Determination, I can drop down a save that detonates. Okay, so I don't think this has a second car or phase, but what it does do is something special if you kill a Chara. So let's quickly kill this Chara here. We're going to see it. You see, when they respawn, 
they have less maximum health. That's right. Insanity Sans has an upgrade where they nerf Determination Revives. But enough of that. Let's move on to Full Power Insanity. Here we have Hard Mode Insanity. And if this Sans looks intimidating, that's because they are. They have eight moves listed here. The first one being Psychotic Assault. Let's just click towards them. Okay, it's just... It's multiple bone waves. Oh my gosh. Wait, that's that's dumb. I know this character. Uh, let me check how much XP this is. It's 5,000. Wait, I want to do that again. Okay. Do they spawn from me? They do. Each bone wave spawns from me. Wild. Okay. The second move is bone stab, where if they hit me, I dash, and I guess I damage people while I dash. Giant Bone Zone. Four is Erratic Movements, where I do multiple blinks, and every blink leaves a attack on the ground where I was. My fifth move is Murderous Passage, which is just a wider bone wave. My sixth move is Unstable Save, which most notably can harm you, the Sands. I'm not 100% that's intended, but I'm going to assume it is intended. Move 7 is Hard Mode Insanity Bone Rain, where I think it's random? Yeah, it looks like you have random little bones hit the ground explode. Looks like you lost your melee weapon in this upgrade, but for our final move we have Madness, which causes the whole map to go red. I'm gaining stamina rapidly and speed. And I probably got a damage boost, if I were to guess. Yeah, Madness looks terrifying. I have a puddle of blood around me. I'm going to stop killing them just in case I'm not supposed to. It looks like it also causes spikes. Is there a phase 2? Yes or no? So, Insanity does not have another phase. But let's show you the end of that final attack from Undertale Sands. So here we go with the final attack. I'm running a lot of little things to reduce damage and perseverance help tail so there's pr pretty much no chance that i'll die here with full health obviously in an actual match you probably wouldn't be full health with um full resistance but don't worry too much about the damage i just wanted to show you what this looks like specifically well more of the person i'm with said that it looked really cool so it does I'm assuming it probably took a little while to actually program this. Oh, and now you're actually in the game dodging it. And I'm so slow, I'm getting hit by everything. Here we have spinning blasters. Oh my gosh, I'm actually dying. I'm gonna have to rage just to get the speed. Either I'm really bad at this, or Helptail can't actually dodge it without the rage. I'm not sure which one it is, but either way, I'm spinning around. I'm going to try to attack the sands next loop. Never mind, they're too far. I was going to try to smack them. Okay, you can't. That would have been a really funny bug if I could have killed Sans from inside their attack. But with that, in terms of showcases, that is it. I'm going to make separate things for the soul abilities, except determination, because that one doesn't currently work. So, and of course, the new skins will be tackled separately too. With that, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.